How you doing? I'm reading your sign. Don't bother me. Anyway, how you doing, guys? It's that epic Wi-Fi guy, and I decided to come to Route 46 because I wanted to show you something really helpful if you picked Ron as your starter. Well, if you picked any of the starters, but it's really helpful, and let's see if I can find it. Really go, Ari. Is it? Is it? Is it? No. Oh, hey, it's Aya. Hmm. Aya is kind of like Sparrow as... Misty is kind of like Pidgey because Aya is uh, really fast. She's more offensive than, more offensive than Mistia, which is pretty nice. I won't be using her on my team because I've used her many times before. But yeah, I do recommend her because she's fairly decent. She's very fast too. But this is not what I wanted to show you guys. Thirty experience. Ah, oh, no level up. Oh well. Shuffle, shuffle. Can we find it? Can we find it? Can we find it? No, Chen, I am not looking for you. I do not want the Rattata of this game because... Actually, I've never used Rattata in a playthrough. Maybe I should, like, in my next Fire Red playthrough or whatever. But anyway, that's off topic. Ha ha, you missed the tail whip and that... Oh, whatever, whatever. Voice crank, whatever. Okay. Alright, level up. Happy music! Alright, well gee, am I gonna find what I'm trying to show you guys? Maybe this is it? Is it? Yes, this is Chibi Sarah. She is a fighting type and I highly recommend her because she is very bulky on the physical side. She has decent attack and has very high HP so she's pretty good and I use her on my last playthrough, I strongly recommend her. But I want to be using her this time around, like, because I said she's in the last playthrough, she was very good, but her coverage is rather lacking outside of fighting type moves. So I guess that's her one problem. But anyway, let's go back to Oak's Lab to see what happened. Not Oak's Lab, Elm's Lab, the Italian guy. Do, 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 random encounter, you will die, Chen. So yeah, I'm actually kind of overleveled right now, and another thing is I won't be getting another member of my team until after Goldenrod City, so my starter is going to be really overleveled until then. Eh, but I guess that's fine. I shouldn't have too much trouble with the gems, since Alice has pretty good matchups against the first and second gem. Maybe the third, I'm not sure. We'll see if her defense is good enough by then. But I tell you, it's a lot easier that Whitney doesn't have access to what is... Well, I guess this skin doesn't really have an alternative to Melting, but she doesn't have access to that kind of strong Pokemon this early on. What? You better the trainer like that! Did you ever think of his name? Yes, his name was Question Mark, Question Mark, Question Mark. His parents were so original. Okay, no. Hmm, what should I name him? Uh, I know. I will name him Jay after my good buddy, Hey Jay. Since pretty much I was inspired to start this channel because of him. Thanks for helping my investigation. Maribel, this is terrible. Oh yes, that's, that's a total one. That's a big discovery. Maribel handed the mystery egg to Professor Elm. This? But is it a Tohomon egg? No, it's a Yoshi egg. Of course it's a Tohomon egg. If it is, it is a great discovery. What? Professor Oak gave you a Toho Dex? Maribel, is that true? Th that's incredible! He is superb at seeing the potential of people as trainers. Wow, Maribel, you may have what it takes to become the champion. To become the champion, you know me for like 5 minutes, and I've only had this Pokemon for like 20 minutes. You seem to be sending on great Pokemon too. You should take it to home on Gym Challenge. The closest gym would be the one in Violet City. Maribel, the road to championship will be a long one. Before you leave, make sure that you talk to your mom. Nope! Not gonna talk to her. Oh, of course. And you again, Maribel. Use these on your Tohodex quest. Maribel, receive Toho Orb! To add to your Tohodex, you have to catch Tohomon. Throw Toho Orbs at Wild Tohomon to get them. Maribel, put the Toho Orb in the Toho Pockets. Alright, now we can start catching Tohomon, but I probably won't be getting making any captures up until Golden Round City, because I don't really plan to catch anything that I'm not using on my team, except maybe for HM Slaves. Wow, that's a cute Tohoman! Where did you get it? Uh, so you're living on an adventure. Okay, I'll help too. But what can I do for you? I know, I'll save money for you. On a long journey, money is important. Do you want me to save your money? 
So this is a very nice function. Basically, she acts as your bank. You'll send her money after each battle. And basically, it doubles your carrying capacity. Now go on. Although, I probably won't be reaching the cap for both of the bank and the player money, but it's just so convenient. You. I've seen you a couple of times. How many Tohoman have you caught? Would you like me to show you how to catch Tohoman? No, I would not. Oh, fine then. Anyway, if you want to catch Tohoman, you have to walk a lot. Oh, you can use Sweet Sand. That works too. Okay, here we go. Oh, first encounter with Toho Orbs. I probably won't catch it. Alright, so here, this is Tokiko. I used a Tokiko on my last playthrough, and she has fairly okay offensive stats. She actually has really good attack and speed, but... My main problem with her was she didn't learn any good stab moves up until about level 20 or so. Up until then, she had to rely on quick attack and tackle. And, well, I guess you can teach her the headbutt TM, but in this game, they don't sell any extra headbutt TMs at the Golden Rod Department Store. So if you give her the headbutt TM, you can't give any of your other Tohomans the headbutt TM. So I'd suggest passing on this one. That, and it doesn't have any flying-type stab until level 20, so you can't use it really to kill grass-types until then. So, kind of disappointing. Alright, but here we go along. Oh, ledge, dead end. How, how would I know? So, yeah, uh, I actually haven't played Gold and Silver or Crystal until... Until recently. I was one of those people who never played the second generation while growing up. Instead, I um, I only had first generation, and then I went to third generation because I never got the second generation game. But that's pretty much just because my cousin gave me a third generation game, and that renewed my interest in Pokemon. And I thank him so much for that. And it also reminds me, in a couple of weeks, I'm going to be posting... I'm going to be posting footage from my tournament. I'm going to be hosting a tournament live at my school and it'll be interesting I'm offering RNG prizes for the winners and I'm also participating so yeah it'll be interesting I can't wait for it uh, the theme of the tournament is that each person gets to pick a generation well they didn't get to pick a generation each person was assigned randomly a generation and I got assigned Hoenn and I made a really good team in my opinion Basically, I have a hyper-offensive team, which consists of Blaziken, uh, Breloom, Blaziken, Breloom, let's see, what else? Can't really remember right now. Wait, let's see, Blaziken, Breloom, Jirachi, Salamence, Swampert, and Latios. And basically what my strategy is, is to have Latios use Light Screen and or Reflect, and then have him use Memento. After that, I send out my Speed Boost Blaziken, and yes, I am allowing Speed Boost Blaziken in this tournament, even though it's Uber, because... I, I allowed 3rd Gen to have Blaziken and 5th Gen to have Excadrill, because those two generations don't have weather, so it'll be tougher for them if they don't have weather, so they have to have stronger members. And yes, I allowed Speed Boo Blaziken before I got assigned Hoenn, so I'm not just trying to give myself an unfair advantage here. Because, uh, and I'm also allowing unreleased Dream World abilities, so Generation 5 gets Shadow Tech Shandy, and that can be really devastating. It's a fruit bearing tree, there's a berry, obtain berry. And in fact, the biggest threat to my team probably is Shadow Tech Chandelure, mostly because. It can switch into any member of my team and just destroy them. Everyone's having fun battling, you should too. No, whatever, I will. Is it? It's Legendary Joey! I just lost, so I'm trying to find more Tohoman. Wait, you look weak. Come on, let's battle! What, with your top percentage Rattata? Oh, wait, no, it's your top percentage Chen, isn't it? Youngster Joey wants to battle. Youngster Joey, send out C Chen. There is a Youngster Joey in every game. Is he like Master of Teleportation? Well, you're gonna die- oh, I forgot to heal. Oh, it doesn't matter. I'm level 10. I am over-leveled. You will die, Chen. Chen, use Tail Whip. And that's the thing, I don't get why Tail Whip doesn't inflict damage with some of the stronger Pokémon using it, like, say, I guess Rhydon? I don't know if it'll learn Tail Whip, but if it did, that would probably do a lot of damage, don't you think? 
Youngster Joey was defeated. Ugh, I don't have anywhere to home on. Give me your money. Send some to mom. I have to have more to home on for battles. I'm going to catch some more. Wow, you're pretty tough. Could I get your phone number? I'll call you for a rematch. Fine. Maribel versus Joey's number. I'll call you if anything comes up. Very well. And I think that's a nice place to end off the video. Thank you for 